It was indeed a very interesting space race between India and Russia while it lasted. But it has now come to an end. Russia's ambitious Luna 25 mission has crashed and burned. All that remains is for India's Chandrayaan-3 to complete the race and become the first ever to reach the moon's south pole. But why did Russian Luna 25 fail despite being ahead in the race? And can Chandrayaan-3 avoid the same mistake as the Russian Luna 25? The Indian moon mission is nearing the final 24 hours of its epic journey through space. Roscosmos's first lunar landing mission in nearly five decades, Luna 25, spiraled into an uncontrollable orbit at this very stage. Russian scientists were unable to control the descent velocity and trajectory, resulting in a loss of communication and its satellite crashing on the lunar surface. Remember, this very fate was also met by India's previous moon mission, Chandrayaan-2. Now, the countdown begins for India's date with history on the 23rd of August, and for four years, ISRO scientists have prepared tirelessly for any eventuality. ISRO is relying on a failure-based design. Its chief claims Chandrayaan-3 has been programmed to land even if two of its engines fail, even if all its sensors stop working. Moreover, India's Vikram lander is automated. In its final moments, it will make its own decisions as it descends towards the lunar surface. The Vikram lander does not need to be controlled from an Earth-based control center. The Chandrayaan-3 executed its second deboosting maneuver, effectively adjusting its orbit to 25 km by 134 km. The landing module will now undergo internal checks and await sunrise at the designated landing site. At around 30 km altitude, the lander enters the powered braking phase and begins to use its thrusters to reach its target on the surface of the moon. Having taken a flight on July 14 from Sri Kota, the lander module of Chandrayaan-3 accomplished its separation from the propulsion module exactly 35 days post-launch. Let's put this in a bit of a perspective. Who started the space race? Who was the first to put a satellite in space and on the moon? The first artificial satellite launched into Earth orbit was the Soviet Union's Sputnik 1 in 1957. Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet citizen, had the first human space flight in 1961, while American astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first man on the moon in the late 1960s. Only three countries have managed successful moon landings, the Soviet Union, United States and China. Now, India is quickly catching up to these space powers. ISRO is competing shoulder to shoulder with those who started such first-of-a-kind missions to space. Conditions there make the Moon's South Pole the most prime candidate for the first ever permanent human presence in space outside our own planet. But no country has ever managed to reach the lunar South Pole yet. If India's Chandrayaan-3 triumphs on this historical mission, this achievement would mark the opening of a new memorable chapter in human space exploration on par with space titans including the US, Russia or even China.